Welcome back. I'm meteorologist Hayden Dixon along with Mr. Stephen Lip with the Museum of Discovery. Hey guys. This time we have a really fun <laughs> project that you can do at home, but parents heads up. And parents, if you're not watching, kids, pause it. Go get your parents because you do need their help with this. There's a couple things that you may not have easily accessible mm -hmm. to grab this, but this is called elephant toothpaste. <laughs> you may have watched this on YouTube, but this is something you can do yep. and it's a lot of fun. So Walk us through what all we have to do to make this really fantastic project work. Absolutely. So like you said, this is something you can do at home, but will require adult supervision. Um, there's a couple materials in here and the chemical reaction that we're going to be creating um, can be a little bit dangerous. So you definitely want to have adults for this. Okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to create a chemical reaction. Okay. And not only are we going to create that chemical reaction, we're going to speed it up Got and it. make it really, really dramatic. Got it. So we have this stuff here called hydrogen peroxide. Mm -hmm. uh, hydrogen peroxide is a combination of hydrogen and oxygen, uh, H2O2, mm -hmm. two parts hydrogen, two part oxygen. Okay. It's a liquid, um, You can some people use it to clean wounds, to get rid of bacteria and things like that. This is one of the kind of more dangerous materials we're gonna be working with. So I'll have gloves and some goggles on while I'm pouring this out. Um, but it is something that you can buy in the store. Right, and, and it would come in a brown bottle most cases. Exactly, it'll come in a else. brown bottle because when the light hits hydrogen peroxide, it starts to break down, mm -hmm. which is why this bottle is opaque. You can't see through it because we don't it. want light hitting it. Right. And when it breaks down, it will break down into water, mm -hmm. H2O, and oxygen, O2. Got it. And normally, that reaction is going to happen very slowly. Got it. It will slowly break down if I just pour it out, and eventually, over time, I will be left with water, and oxygen will just kind of dissipate. Um, however, what you can do is you can speed up that chemical reaction and make it much more dramatic with something called a catalyst. Okay. So we're going to be using some yeast. Got it. Yeast is something that you can buy at the grocery store. It's used in baking. Mm -hmm. And yeast has this thing called catalase in okay. it. And the catalase is what's going to catalyze our reaction. It's going to take that reaction and kick it into overdrive, speed it up like crazy. All right. So that uh, hydrogen peroxide will start breaking down into oxygen and water really, 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 really fast. Yes. Okay. And the piece de resistance, the thing that's going to make our elephant toothpaste, is some dish soap. Gotta have that. Exactly. <laughs> so the oxygen will be released as bubbles. It's a gas. And those bubbles will get to the surface of the liquid and pop pretty quickly. We add just a dash of dish soap in there, mm -hmm. and suddenly that surface tension, the bubbly film, is going to catch that gas. And so those bubbles will start to form and catch into a foam. Got and it. so we can create this big foamy chemical reaction that's going to come out. So you want to see it? Absolutely. All right, fantastic. I'm going to get it kind of prepped for you, okay. and then you're going to do the final step. <sighs> so right. first step, we of course want this to be a really cool, fun, pretty reaction. Absolutely. And we're going to kind of do a little bit of a Christmas color. I've got like a pinkish red here. Okay. And so you can either kind of run your food coloring down the side of your bottle here. Got it. Ooh, just like this. Nice line. Yeah. Okay. Or once we pour the hydrogen peroxide in, you can just kind of dump some food coloring into there. Either way works. So I'm going to get it down the side here. A little bit of a, not as clean of a line there, but there we go. So we've got our food coloring ready to go. This is going to color our reaction. Got it. All right. So we've got that. All right. Uh, and so the what the version of this that we're going to do is going to be very dramatic okay. for a couple reasons. One, we're using probably double the recipe that you would normally find online because it looks really fun. Right. Okay. And two, you can use two or three percent hydrogen peroxide. We're going to use a much higher concentration. Um, so I'm definitely going to be using gloves. And in fact, actually, go. if you will toss me a, a pair of goggles there, just in case, you're going to want your adults to do this. You're going to want your adults to pour about a, well, if you do the ratio that we have, right. we're going to pour about a cup of hydrogen peroxide into our bottle here. Got you it. can do less. You can do a smaller ratio. It'll work either way. Okay. We just want it to look really good on camera. The uh, yeah, the funnel might make it a lot easier. All right. Put the funnel in there. So we've got our hydrogen peroxide here. This is a half cup, so I'm going to pour two of these. 
So this stuff can burn if you get it on your skin, which is why I'm using gloves. There we go. All right. There we go. And there's a cup. So right now with the light hitting that, it's slowly breaking down into yeah. water and oxygen. And what we're gonna do is we're just gonna speed that up. Okay. So before we started, I put four table or four tablespoons yep. of warm water into okay. here. It's not boiling hot, it's not cold, it's just like a little warmer than room temperature. Got it. Okay. And we are gonna take our catalase, our yeast, the thing that's gonna catalyze, kick off our reaction, and we are gonna take two teaspoons of that yeast, a fairly small amount. Wow, that is yeah. not a lot. This is just one of them, so we'll do two of these. We're gonna dump it in our water. Okay. Make sure that's not behind our funnel there. And then we are gonna start mixing it. So, by the time we're done, it's gonna look gross. Yeah. We're gonna have this like <laughs> weird kind of foamy, almost like a protein shake kind of looking thing. Uh, it does look like a protein shake. It's, a it's pretty thing. gross looking. But this is going to serve to really kick our reaction into overdrive. Got it. And uh, you and I both have goggles on, uh, not because this is gonna explode or anything, but this is a chemical reaction. Yes. We're changing one thing into another thing. We're changing hydrogen peroxide into water and oxygen. And when you have a chemical reaction, there's a lot of energy that mm -hmm. needs to be released. So this is what we call an exothermic reaction. Got what it. that means is it's going to release heat. Mm -hmm. So this foam and these bubbles are actually gonna be pretty hot. So just in case we're keeping our eyes safe, we're not gonna touch the bottle. So what you're gonna do, Hayden, okay. is you're gonna pour this mixture into here and then take the funnel out okay. and we're gonna see what happens. All right. Now, what about the dish soap? When do we start putting that in? Oh, absolutely. This is the time that we wanna put that in. So okay. we're just gonna take just a squeeze of dish soap. Not a whole lot. And we're gonna get that in there. There we go. Okay. And that soapy film is gonna catch our uh, oxygen that's being released and it's going to start creating the foam. I'm nervous. I'm ready. I'm so excited. Are you ready? I'm going to scooch some of this <laughs> stuff. Inside. It's almost certainly going to spill over. Okay. So this reaction will keep happening until one, uh, until the catalase or the hydrogen peroxide runs out. So it'll go for a while and then it'll gradually slow down. Uh, I'll tell you what, I'll take the funnel out if you want to pour. Right. I know the suspense is killing everybody at home, but here we go in three, two, one. Go, 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 go. There we go. Oh, all right, so that oxygen is being caught by the, <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, look at the stripes. Yeah, we got some stripes on the look side. It's like a peppermint kind of candy cane look. Oh. oh, so if we had just dumped the food coloring just in the hydrogen peroxide, the yeah. whole thing would have been kind of this pinkish color. If you run it down the side, you can actually get some really cool stripes. You can look online and see people use different colors. Right. Like they'll use a blue and a green and a yellow, and it'll create a whole bunch of different stripes. Um, so you can kind of change up how this reaction looks. So we're not gonna touch this foam or the bottle because it is pretty hot right now. Because yep. again, all that energy is being released as heat. Um, but after a little while, you can see the reaction slowing down. Wow, that almost perfectly stayed in, in the that. thing there. A little bit of spillage off the yeah. side. Uh, over time, this reaction will slow down because you're either running out of uh, yeast or you're running out of hydrogen peroxide. And uh, eventually, it'll just kind of slow down and cool down. And uh, once it's cooled down, probably want to have an adult check that um, you can actually play around in the foam. Let's see. Oh yeah, totally fine. Is it cooled down yet? It's a little bit warm, but you yeah. can touch it. That is so cool. Yeah. So of course you're not gonna wanna eat this, but once you're done, you can just dump it down the sink and it's just gonna be just fine. And uh, once it's cooled down, you can play around with the foam a little bit. Awesome. <laughs> Steve, this was so much fun. I really have, I've always watched other people do it, but to actually be a part of this experiment is really fun. It's so an awesome reaction. Please, if you can at home, watching this, if you're doing it alongside <laughs> us, hope you enjoyed it. But if you do have an idea, make sure to get your parents involved and have a little bit of fun. Oh, not a little bit of fun. You're gonna have a lot of fun. A lot this. of fun. <laughs> All right, well, that's it for this at-home discovery episode. Don't forget to tune in to our website, kark.com forward slash science. We'll release our next episode on Monday at one o'clock. See ya. <laughs> have fun.